Hey, what's going on guys? It's Greg Jones with Engine Builder. Today we are in Dallas, Georgia, just outside of Atlanta at Van Gilder Racing Engines. I'm joined by shop owner Jake Van Gilder. And this right here is a 427 cubic inch LS nitrous engine. It's our engine of the week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrade One and Elring Das Original. Jake, Good pleasure to meet you. you. Yeah, thanks for showing us around the shop here. Yep. You know, you had a whole bunch of engines going on uh, yep. in, inside here, but you know, one of the, the cooler builds that you got in progress right now is this 427 LS and we wanted to know a little bit more about it. So if you would, just kind of tell us the history of the project itself to start with, you know? Was this a new customer, a repeat customer? This was actually a repeat customer of mine. He does a lot of grudge racing, um, street and strip. Um, he started off this build, he bought a brand new Dart SHP block. Um, and then we kind of built a program around what he wanted to do. Ultimately, he wanted to go nitrous so we started off with pretty much a brute block that will take a lot of power. Um, like I said, it's an iron SHP block. Um, we have a custom grind cam from 3V Performance. Okay. Um, we put a carbon PTR intake on it. Yeah. Um, I would say the coolest piece on this engine, in my opinion, is the 710 Frankenstein head. Yeah. They will produce extreme amounts of power. We love their products. Um, we got a couple of different products that I um, tend to use most of the time. We got a Cali's uh, Ultra HD set of rods. We got a Cali's crankshaft in there, fully counterweighted piece. Uh, we love CP pil uh, pistons. Those are my favorite go-to pistons. So we had a custom set of pistons made for it. Um, everything is Cerakoted, everything has, you know, it's made to produce probably about 500 horsepower through two different systems. Okay. Um, it is a just a it is a piece that is pretty much I wouldn't say undestructible, but it should take the amount of power that this gentleman's trying to use. So, yeah. it's nice. actually if I was to build an engine, this is probably what I would build. <laughs> so, nice. yep. Very cool. Well, yeah. You, so you mentioned Frankenstein heads, which are an awesome piece. The dart blocks, great. Solid rotating assembly. Yes, sir. Awesome. How about some more of the, the top end components, you know, inside the valve train and, and uh, you mentioned uh, the camshaft, forgive me, where, where is that from again? That camshaft was actually ground from Tom V at 3V Performance. I believe he is in North Carolina, I believe, don't quote me on that, but I believe he's in North Carolina. Very good friend of ours. Um, full titanium valve train or in canal exhaust valve, titanium intake valves. Uh, we have trend push rods. Um, very heavy duty. I think there were a 120 wall, uh, gosh, I believe there were 916th 120 wall push rods in it. Okay. Um, we, we linked up with carbon or PTR for the intake manifold. I've never used one of these intake manifolds. I thought they looked very cool, yes, so we decided they, they to try it out. Cool. Yeah, we've seen a few yeah. of those. Yeah, they're very nice. cool piece. The only thing we're waiting on right now is we got to get injectors for it and get a couple little things to button it up and then we'll be hitting the dyno. So hopefully, you know, by the end of the day, we're looking at probably trying to push about 1300 horsepower. Okay. Roughly is what the goal is. I believe with these cylinder heads and the stuff we have in it with the kits, it'll, it'll be well above that. Yeah. Um, but to be safe, we just want to, uh, we don't want to lean on it too hard quite yet. So we'll see how it goes. Um, we got to put, you know, a couple, couple little finishing touches to it. Um, nice. And then, Jake, I didn't see, are you running a wet sump? Looks like a wet sump oiling system. Yes, down. sir. This is a wet sump system. This car will actually have AC and everything on it, believe it or not. Wow. ATI balancer, stop GM, uh, water pump. Uh, we use Cloy's timing sets. Um, we like uh, PSI valve springs we got in it. Uh, help maintain the stability of the valve train over a longer period of time. Um, we have a couple different, we had a couple different piston options. Yeah. We, like I said, we love CP products. We actually tro chose to run this engine at 13 and a half to one static compression ratio. Okay. Um, it is going to be, it's going to be drive by cable. It's actually going to go into a, I believe a 88, 
uh, pickup truck, believe it or not. Of all things, it's going in a pickup truck. Yeah. So <laughs> he'll be able to haul the mail and haul the hay. So right, right. he'll be, uh, he'll be, he'll, he'll like it. I believe he'll like it a lot. So like I said, AC, yeah. it's going to have power steering and all the stuff on it to where he can drive. He wants to drive it. We'll see how driver friendly it is. Some people like to know yeah. the cam specs. So yeah. And if that's something you can look up, right? Yeah, yeah well, well, honestly, if you want any cam specs, I would I would advise you to call people like Tom. Yeah. Um, cam Motion, we use a lot of their products. Comp, um, Billy Golding, he's a very good friend of mine. I kind of lean on him a little bit for a lot of information. Um, he's a very good friend. So we like leaning on them for as much information as possible. Yeah. Since it is going in a heavier pickup truck, we did put a fully counterweighted crankshaft in it. Uh, we didn't go with like an aluminum set of rods like we usually typically would in a race application. We chose a steel rod. Yeah. We're actually using a steel rocker arm in it. Um, like I said, we're trying to maintain valve train stability. Uh, we, like I said, we dual torque plated this block. Um, we used uh, we used a couple different plateau and stones as far as the finish wall goes. Um, fully ARP studded uh, mains, ARP head studs. Um, everything is going to be some pretty easy to use or change when you're at the track. Yeah. One thing that I like to kind of go with is I like all my engines to have Allen cap screws all the same size. So if you're at the track, you're not chasing down five different sure. sockets. You're, yeah. You got one socket on an impact and bam, 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 you're ready to go. So that's one thing that I like to do on all of our race engines or our high performance engines. Yeah, just to make it easier, more user friendly when you're at the track. So you're not chasing down multiple tools under fire. You know how it is, so heck yeah. So Jake, I think you mentioned uh, he could have about 500 horsepower of nitrous on tap. Yep. So naturally aspirated, this is somewhere in that 800, yes, 900 it, horsepower. I, I would love for this engine to make about 870 okay. uh, naturally aspirated. Um, that's the goal. Yeah. So anything over that is just yeah, extra. more cake for the customer. Yeah. So, Excellent. yep, Excellent. heck yeah. Well, Jake, we appreciate you walking us through this 427 LS. Definitely doesn't disappoint. This thing's pretty badass. Heck yeah. So thank, thank you for you uh, telling much. us a little bit about it. it. Yeah. Heck yeah. Guys, that's been this episode of Engine of the Week. Make sure you guys are checking out everything that Jake and his team are doing here at Van Gilder Racing Engines. And as always, make sure you're checking out enginebuildermag.com for more engine content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. Hey, while I've got you guys here, I wanted to tell you about Find a Builder. It's a new microsite on enginebuildermag.com that's great for both engine shops and for potential customers looking to get engine work done. If you're an engine builder, this site is a place where you guys can list your shop and what you guys do to potential customers through enginebuildermag.com. It's an easy subscription-based microsite that'll let you guys connect to a new audience. And if you're a potential customer looking to get engine work done, this is a source to help you guys find a shop that's in your area or one that specializes in the type of engine work that you're trying to get done. Make sure you guys are checking out Find a Builder on EngineBuilderMag.com. Thanks.